This is Adam Miller, your movies correspondent and associate producer for the RPM Show. And this is my official video review of No Strings Attached, which is a romantic comedy with Natalie Portman, Ashton Kutcher, and in a strong supporting cast, we have Greta Gerwig, Chris Ludacris Bridges, and Kevin Klein and Carrie Elwes. Now, this movie is from director Ivan Reitman, who is the director of classic 80s and 90s comedies like Stripes, uh, Ghostbusters 1 and 2, Dave, and the classic Schwarzenegger movie Kindergarten Cop. Now, this movie follows Natalie Portman and Ashton Kutcher's characters, Emma and Adam, as they are best friends from middle school, and they kind of, they're, they're best friends, but, you know, they they kind of bump into each other as the beginning of the movie progresses to the present day, and um, so they, they, they have this really strong best friend relationship. Now, when the movie picks up in the present day, she is a in nursing intern at a hospital in Los Angeles, and he is a freelance screenwriter on a, who works on a, a TV show that is a mixture of High School Musical and Glee. And it's a it's a musical show from what I look from what I can see. Uh, it's a um, it's he's he's a he's a now he's a freelancer, but he's hoping to be an official screenwriter. He's hoping to actually he's written a script for an episode of the show, and he hopes that it, someone will read it and actually let him. Give, give him the credit for it. So he, that's what he's working on. And she wants to be a nurse. So that's what they're doing. But their friendship escalates into fr a friends with benefits relationship. Now, I don't want to go into a lot of detail on what that means. I'm sure everybody out there knows what that means. It's simply, they are friends, but they sleep together. Now, she has a number of rules for these for this relationship. She doesn't want a committed relationship. She just wants him to be there for her when she wants her. And... Um, they don't, she, also, she doesn't want to have any feelings for him, or he does the same for, for him, for him, for her, uh, which of course doesn't happen. Now, without spoiling anything, I will say that as the relationship progresses, he does end up having a counting feelings for her. And of course, a lot of problems es escalate, so I won't get into any more of that. Just go see the movie. Uh, anyway, now, as far as the movie goes, it's a very, very good comedy. And it's it's very sweet. It's very cute. It's got a lot of very funny lines, uh, a lot of really crude dialogue that at the same time is rather funny. Uh, it's certainly well worth your time and money. It's it's a it's a comedy that wasn't killed by the trailer. Now I won't talk about that too much, but I think that if you listen to things I've said on certain comedies that came out last year on the show, you'll know you know what that means. Uh, in other words. It was, the funny parts weren't all the funny stuff was not in the trailer. The trailer just basically gave the plot of the movie, but did not ex, you know, it did not give away the funny, the really funny parts. So there was a lot of that. There was a lot of you know sweetness, a lot of witty. It's and a lot of really, it brings a lot of attention to people that would have relationships, relationships like that, uh, and also for people that that are in relationships. You know, not friends with benefits relationships, but just actual relationships. It opens a lot of eyes you know for people like that and you know explores a lot of you know personal details about what is involved in a relationship and so that's really that's what a comedy like a good comedy would do you know it doesn't try to be funny it, you know it doesn't try to derate anybody but it does its job when all is said and done i i give it a complete not not complete i give it a nine out of ten which is probably about an a minus uh it's a it's a very good comedy. It's got you know the supporting cast is great. Um, directing is great. Surprise! It's a this is a surprise from Ivan Reitman, uh, who's done a who's done a number of you know real, rather big budget comedies. You know political comedies like like I said, Dave. You know he's got you know he's done three Schwarzenegger movie comedies. So anyway, um, very, great job for Ivan Reitman, and also great job for Natalie Portman, who is truly you know showing herself to be one of the best actresses of all on the planet. Now, I have never been a big fan of Ashton Kutcher before, but I do give him a lot of kudos for this movie. Uh, he actually did a very good job, and I think that, you know, this is one movie that I will actually give a pass for him for. Now, I want to know what you think. Did you like this movie? Or actually, if you've seen the movie, did you like it or not? And if you have, well, use this review to enhance your opinion, and hopefully you can go see it. Now, if you liked it, if you actually, I should say, if you've seen it and you liked it, or if you didn't like it, email me. I want to know what you think. Adam at therpmshow.com. And also check out the website, www.therpmshow.com, where you can link to our Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, Hub Pages, BlackBerry, um, and also download, stream, stream podcast podcasts of us on iTunes. 
and also check out our other videos on YouTube. So until next time, until which hopefully will be soon when I bring another review. Uh, hopefully that will be soon, so one can only hope. Uh, until then, uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.